the vast majority of these uh, candidates decided to proactively leave out McKinsey. The number one reason for this was, I don't believe uh, my profile is good enough for McKinsey. But at the same time, these candidates believed that their profile was uh, good enough for BCG and Bain. And that is just like out of any rational explanation uh, logic here, right? So it's simply um, not smart to act in that way. Why we are seeing over and over again that interested and aspiring MBB consultants are not directly applying for McKinsey because they believe they are not good enough and their profile is not living up to what McKinsey is looking for in their future consultants. Now, this is an interesting observation, and it is based on roughly two to three three thousand data points, because that's the number of applications we are um, receiving on a yearly base from aspiring top management consultants. They want to break in and they want to get into that career path. Now, what we are seeing on these applications to work with us is often that McKinsey is missing, right? So you would find the companies that they are interested in are BCG and um, Bain and some tier two consultancies. And that's interesting, right? So it's so interesting that we decided to investigate a little bit deeper on what is the core reason for not targeting or mentioning McKinsey. Because in the beginning, we assumed it might have something to do with um, that uh, they already had unsuccessful, unsuccessfully applied for McKinsey, right? So they are now in a blackout period, for example, um, or uh, unsuccessfully did the game or unsuccessfully interviewed, right? And they will now want to go for the other options with our help. But surprisingly, this was not the case. This was not the case. Um, surprisingly, the vast majority of these uh, candidates decided to proactively leave out McKinsey. So not to target it in first instance. And that's interesting because the number one reason for this was I don't believe uh, my profile is good enough for McKinsey, right? But at the same time, these candidates believed that their profile was uh, good enough for BCG and Bain. And that is just like out of any rational explanation uh, logic here, right? So it's simply um, not smart to act in that way because essentially, if your profile is strong enough to get an invite from BCG or from Bain, then it's also strong enough potentially to get an invite for from McKinsey. So there is absolutely... Uh, no difference in the profiles they are looking for, uh, at least on a piece of paper, right? If you are bringing the right characteristics, you will be an interesting candidate. Yes, there are then some nuances and especially different availabilities, different um, staffing plans, and sometimes also different functions they are explicitly recruiting for, right? So yes, absolutely, in these circumstances, um, it, it does matter a lot on how uh, you can position your professional past. But in the vast majority of people we are speaking about, um, general consulting roles and um, people bringing uh, a decent profile with what they have done before, right? And here it's really up to the, the mindset that they are bringing, right? Because for whatever reason, they consider McKinsey as um, on uh, yeah, even one layer above Bain or BCG, right? And that's just simply... Not the case. They are all acting on eye level. You will find extremely smart people in all companies and also they are looking for the same profiles, right? So if your profile is good enough for BCG and uh, for Bain, it is certainly also to be considered for in getting an invite for McKinsey, right? So this is what we've seen now from a lot of data points. And what is interesting here is how we are working with this is making sure to uh, yeah, bust that myth uh, early on in the process and helping our clients then also to um, get into their number one priority into McKinsey, right? And we set then a plan for them up in a way that they are practicing first with uh, selected companies, right, that are close to the interviewing process of McKinsey, but obviously not the same because it's McKinsey, but then making also sure to learn on the way systematically, right, um, and under real life conditions with like some other consultancies and making sure they are putting their best food forward then for McKinsey at the very end of the process, right? And in the meanwhile, 
We are discussing all feedbacks they have received, all performances, and making sure they really can get our interventions on the way to race to their number one target. Which, by the way, is also totally fine if it would be BCG or it would be Bain or even a T2 company, right? That's that's totally fine. The, 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 the main point of uh, this quick overview is do not be afraid of McKinsey, right? Do not be afraid of, even if it's a rejection, do not be afraid. It's your career, right? And just as a general statement here at the end, if you're not failing, you're not pushing hard enough, right? So make sure you accept and embrace failure on the way. And then also make sure to reduce it to the minimum amount necessary by getting professional help.